since we have this blank canvas to use to organize the rest of your academic career, we should take advantage of it. Important thing for us to do is make sure we set up a very coherent and logical system to hold all of your academic work. Uh, we're going to do that right now by taking all of your old material that you have from other places and we're going to go ahead and start uploading it. Um, so we're going to hit the create button. The create button is going to be where you're going to be able to make new files and folders. Um, all of these files down here are all things that are actually native to Google. Uh, they're all versions, uh, Google's version of other types of files. Uh, but the great thing about using Google's version is that if you look in the bottom left hand corner, you have 15 gigabytes for free. These files, document, presentation, spreadsheet, form, and drawing, do not use any of your storage space, which is great, which is also why we're going to be using them for our classes most of the time. Um, but we need to make a full... By the way, folders don't cost you space. They're just ways for organizing things. Um, but you're going to click on the folder. So you're going to get a pop-up window here that asks for the name. Um, we're going to take all your old files from all your previous academic history and throw them up here. So let's make a folder called Old Classes. Oh, fix a little typo there. And then hit Create. So there's our old classes file, uh, and you can click in here, and then click this button to upload, and it'll bring up a window. I'm not gonna bring it up because it's probably gonna look different than yours, and I don't wanna confuse you if you're using a Windows computer, but you'll click that upload, and then you can find all your different files all over your computer and upload them to this old classes folder. We're not gonna worry about organizing this uh, because that might be a daunting task, depending on how much you have. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go back to my drive. You can click either here or right here to bump back to our main level. Um, so there's old classes. We're going to set up your HBS folder. So if you're going to go into create again in a folder, and this is going to be HBS, and then hit enter. By the way, I suggest that the old classes even if you make folders and things for your old classes, this folder should make, hold all of your old stuff. Um, if it were me, I would want only my current classes up here, and then as you pass through HPS, and once HPS is done for you, you would take this and move it down to the old classes folder. Uh, but I would only want my current classes uh, to be at this root level. And you can go ahead and add others, but. I'm going to go ahead and click into my HBS folder. And it might seem redundant or might seem excessive, but we're going to be making more folders. Um, I'm going to create a folder. Should be old habit for you now. Um, and I'm going to create a folder for summer work. And then hit create. Um, and now here's an important thing for naming stuff. If I made another folder pretending that we're already into the school year, and I made it for identity. I personally prefer for things to go chronologically from top to bottom, and because most folders and things go alphabetical, it's put identity up above, even though identity is the newer item. So we can fix that by using numbers. I'm going to right click on my summer work, just like you could right click on a folder on your desktop. And I'm going to go down to rename. Summer work's the first thing we do for HBS. So I'm going to go ahead and go all the way over to the left hand side. And then I'm going to write the numbers 00. zero and I'm going to hit dash and then space. And hit OK. So I've renamed that folder 00-summerwork, and so that put it numerically, it put it all the way up front. So I'm going to go ahead and change identity as well. And since it's the first unit in HBS, I'm going to go ahead and go 01-space, 
identity. So we've got you started off on the right foot with a solid folder numbering system. This is going to be huge and is a great habit for you to get into. Make sure that you keep it up. Fortunately, all of the assignments in HBS and all of Biomed are all numbered very meticulously, so you have a lot of the work done for you already. You just got to make sure you keep up with it. In the next video, I'm going to be sharing a special thing that you can do with files and folders, and that is sharing, which is a huge asset to group work and collaboration, as well as how you'll be turning in documents and assignments to me and HBS. So make sure you check out the next video in our series.